Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see how to apply conditional formatting to values, totals, and subtotals of a matrix visual. On your screens is Power BI Desktop, which contains an orders table with these many columns and a matrix visual created from the orders table. This visual depicts the year-wise, month-wise sales, as well as sales for the previous period and the percentage growth in the current period over the previous period. We shall apply conditional formatting on the growth column based on the legend and the color shown in this visual. If the growth is negative or there's no growth, we shall format the background color of the cell as red. If it's less than or equal to 30%, we shall format as aqua. If the growth is less than or equal to 60%, we shall format as magenta. If the growth is less than or equal to 90%, we shall format as yellow. And if the growth is greater than 90%, we shall format as green. The most important thing that we have to remember is that though the formatting of growth is as percentage, these values are stored as decimal numbers in Power BI. We shall apply conditional formatting on the values, on totals only, and both values and totals. For that, let's select the visual. Under the columns well, let's expand percentage growth field. Here you can see conditional formatting. There are various options. Let's choose background color. The format style, let's expand this. There are three options, gradient, which you see here. As the value increases, the color deepens. We can use rules or color the background based on field value. We are going to use rules. We shall apply the format to, let's expand this box, and we have three options, values only, values and totals, and totals only. We shall start with values only and explore the remaining options later. What field should we base the conditional formatting on? It should be based on the value of percentage growth in the orders table. If we expand this, we can see the various tables. If we expand the table, we can see the various columns. We have to provide the rules. There's a provision for providing one rule here. For adding more rules, we can click on the new rule button. Let's start with the first rule. If the value is greater than or equal to, let's type min here, which represents the minimum value in this column. When we expand this box, we can see two options, number and person. We shall go by number. Expand this and let's select less than or equal to. If the value is less than or equal to the value that is very close to zero in percentage terms, which is 0.001. Here, number is already selected. Let's leave it at that. Change the color. We are interested in formatting the background of these cells in red. So let's expand this, select more colors. Either we can move the slider and select the appropriate color, or we can provide the hex code. I'm going to provide the hex code. So let's paste the hex code here. And this color is chosen. Now let's add the second rule. If value is greater than or equal to, let's copy this value, paste it here, select number, select less than or equal to, and here it is 30%. 30% is 30 divided by 100, which is 0 0.3. The selection number is correct. Let's expand this box, click on more colors, and provide the hex code for the second color. Let's create the third rule, greater than or equal to, let's copy this, paste it here, number less than or equal to, here the value should be 60%, that is 0 0.6. Let's select the appropriate color, one more rule, greater than or equal to, paste the value here, number and less than or equal to, this is 90% or 0 0.9, number, change the color, let's formulate the last rule, greater than or equal to, number, in this box, let's select less than or equal to, and here let's type max number, select the color. We've completed the rules, let's click on OK. We can see that the background of all the cells have been colored according to the conditional formatting that we've created. Let's apply conditional formatting to both values and totals. For that, let's expand the growth field again, click on conditional formatting, 
background color. The previous rules are available here. We shall change this to values and totals and click on OK. We can see that the conditional formatting is applied to the subtotal for the year 2021, 2020, 2019, as well as to the grand total. Now let's try the last option, which is total only. Let's expand percentage growth, conditional formatting, background color, and let's expand this and select totals only. Click on OK. Now we can see that the formatting is applied only to the subtotals and the grand total and not to the value. One important thing that we have to remember is that Whenever we want to apply the formatting to totals, we should start with values only for formulating the rules. And after the rules have been formulated, you can change the apply to to totals. Otherwise, the fields, percentage or number will be grayed out and we cannot make any changes. So select values only first, formulate all the rules and then change the apply to to totals only or values and totals. I've created the previous period sales measure using this DAX formula. Similarly, the measure percentage growth has been created using this DAX formula. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall receive immediate notifications as soon as we upload new videos in our channel. Thank you very much for your continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.